Hey everyone, Jeremy Senpai here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you like what you hear, feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, on with the show. As always, keep calm and put your headphones on. <sighs> all right, I think we're safe now. Yeah, looks like we dealt with the worst of them. Why say we rest for a bit? Honestly, I have no idea what happened. One second we were cornered, that guy with the chainsaw almost got us. Next thing you know, the bell started ringing and they all just walked away. I have no idea what happened. Maybe they went to bingo or something. Anyway. Yeah, I heard that too. Apparently there's a stray cat around here. Hopefully it won't attack us. Anyway, what do you think is going on? Your guess is as good as mine. From what Huggin told us, this seems to be the unknown party that's holding Ashley Graham. They may not have guns or any advanced weapons, but they sure are dangerous, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I've been in a lot of tough spots before, and chances are this one is going to be no different. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure that you're plenty nervous. I mean, this is your first B.O.W. in the field. This is your first mission fighting B.O.W.s. And you're the only one that survived your whole team. So you have every right to be, uh, to be scared, to be nervous. Don't worry about it. I've got your back. And I know that you've got mine. We're partners on this, okay? So don't worry about it. Hmm? You want to ask me something? We'll make it quick because we've got to move pretty soon. Who knows when they'll come back. Plus, our number one objective is finding Ashley. No, you heard right. I was one of the few survivors from Raccoon City. Yeah, there were quite a few. The other was actually Chris Redfield's little sister, Claire. She and I were actually protecting each other the whole time. There's also Sherry Birkin, the daughter of the scientists who created the outbreak in the first place. Yeah, they're taking good care of her, or at least last I heard. I mean, I can see her every once in a while. She seems to be doing good. You... you want to know what it was like? Well... It was ten times worse than anything we might experience here. There were infected everywhere. Some of my fellow officers were already infected by the time I got there. They were attacking me. There was this huge monster in a trench coat following me. And of course, we were attacked by William Birkin himself. Yeah. He actually infected himself with the virus. Well, I've seen pictures of him, but by the time he attacked us, he didn't even look human. So, compared to that, all this should be a piece of cake. And like I said, I mostly had to go at it alone. I mean, Claire helped me, but... She was off doing her own thing, looking for her brother, but came across Sherry. But you and me, were in this together, okay? You've got nothing to worry about. Just do what I say, stay on my six, and we'll both make it out of here no problem. You hear me? Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Anyway, according to Hunt again, 
Ashley is being held in the church outside the, outside the village. So we need to start making our way over there. Hmm. What is it? Right. Looks like one of those... One of those guys actually got me with their axe. Honestly, I didn't even notice it. I guess my adrenaline high was already kicked in. Hey, where are you? You're patching me up. Yeah, I remember I got hit. I got nicked with their axe. So it's not like I have to worry about being infected. You're good at that. Thank you. Sadly, I have a feeling that skills like yours are probably going to come in handy. Hmm? Oh. One of your... One of your skills is that you're a trained medic. I've read your file, and I remember something about that. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, marksmanship, first aid... You're really a cut above the rest. I mean, my first aid skills aren't super great. All I really have to do is tend to myself. Hm. Oh, you're smiling. You know, you're not bad looking when you smile. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just trying to lighten the tension a bit. I mean, this is already going to be a pretty lousy situation. So, where's the harm in, you know, just a little comradey between us? Okay, okay, you can stop glaring at me. Oh, hold on. Again, it's Leon. Yeah, me and the rookie are fine. But sadly, the rest of the team is DOA. We're the only survivors. I know, I know, mission still stands, and we're moving right now. You don't have to prep another team. I know that you'd be wasting a lot of time and resources when you still have two good ones on the ground. Don't worry about it. Just prep that chopper and get to us as soon as you can, alright? Sounds good. Leon out. Again, told us to stop being lazy, so shall we? But I feel like I do have to ask something. Why? Why do you want to fight BOWs so bad? I mean, I saw you out there, and your survival instincts were really good. Most people hesitate. I mean, you did for a second, but... You picked yourself right up. Your guys, the rest of your team were infected, and you didn't hesitate to put them down. Why? Your parents were in Raccoon City at the time. They were visiting your relatives, and you were, you were being watched by your aunt. They never came home. I'm so sorry. I mean, I I honestly don't know. By the time I got there, there were thousands that were infected. But you already know, don't you? Right. I'm making it my life's mission to stop Umbrella to destroy B.O.W.s. And it looks like you and I are in the same boat. So what do you say? Let's, let's get through whatever comes our way together. We're partners on this. You watch my back, I'll watch your back. Sound good there, rookie? Alright. Let's move.